And how so did you see your mom naked? Um, I was leaving the house. Someone was calling the house while I was. My mom thought I left. Someone the the house phone was ringing. Did she fell. So on this the is probably steps? about five years ago. This is like the same <laughs> week she fell on the steps. She's, this she's is a good week for me and my mom. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then it, somebody called for her. So I was like, Mom, the phone's for you. Mom. A landline? She still has yeah. a landline? and I was fucking pissed that she wasn't answering. So I, like, walked up the steps like, fucking Mom! <laughs> like, answer the fucking phone! <laughs> and then uh, she walked out of her bathroom totally naked. Her bombs out? Totally naked. What's and I was like, like, fuck. <laughs> but I remember... How old is she again? Uh, at this time, probably, like, 60, 58. She's cute, though, right? I mean, she's, like, she's, she's in good shape. She's not an ugly woman. Yeah, she's, 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 she's in good shape. She's not, like, she doesn't look like me. She doesn't look like a fat, pale Your dad outkicked this coverage. She, she uh, no, my dad was hot. My dad was very hot. Did I show you my dad when he was younger? <laughs> no, not My dad's yet. hot as fuck. Yeah? Yeah, he was a beast. Uh, <laughs> big dick, too. I saw his dick a bunch when I was a kid. And I, was like, I saw the load dick. at the... Uh, you saw how much he cummed yeah, his pants, Jesus. too. Show them the picture of that. Nah. We're, we're just going to leave him in the dark on all this dad dad's laser tag, talk. and he's got just a fucking a jellyfish mess. Why? A my dad was coming in his, his pants. pants. He didn't really come in his pants. Show him. I'll show you the picture in a second. But what? The, last, the thing that stuck with me, but my, mom, is, my mom was more upset about it than I was. She walked pants? out. Not the, There was no cum at this point. Sure. She walks out of the bathroom. I'm standing there. I was like, ew. Like, I, that's how I reacted. I wasn't like, ew. I was just like, oh, fuck, mom. Like, ew, ew. <laughs> and she was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, she got real upset. But I remember the one thing that stuck with me is peripherally. Her jaw was wired shut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still trying to suck I it in saw, Oreo. I, she, she trimmed her pubes. Oh, that means she they're active. And this is what I was saying. She's no. maintaining. I remember being like, I thought it was going to be a fucking chaotic, Bufana. just a bush. Yeah. It was nice. But it wasn't. It's the shape of a heart. Yeah. That's because your dad requests it. I know, but yeah, I remember being like, like that was troubling. Keep that at like That was the worst part. Yeah. Did she do basically what a fucking dude should be doing at the very least? Yeah, under the balls, in between everything? I gotta be and honest, it was... Or I'm saying, did she trim it to the point where she's shaving and you can actually see lip? I didn't look. I want to know if you can boy, see lip. Oh, because boy. I was locked onto her tits. <laughs> but uh, I, I think I actually was. <laughs> I think I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. But... Uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable, but it was... Did you see lip? I didn't see any lip. No. <laughs> I didn't see any lip. <laughs> anyway. Yo, went back to the TGI Fridays, though. The, the, the TGI Fridays? The Mall of America TGI Fridays. Where you held it down? Held it down. Put This time, I had to defend my honor. Did I you? played Dragula 12. You actually you played this I had time. to. I was like, I have to do it. I have to re redeem myself. <laughs> Dragula. For your, for your I stole tail. Dragula, Valor. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to you on the phone once, and I just broke my heart that I fibbed. It I didn't too. play Dragula the first time. Someone else did. So I played it, I'd say, four straight times. You played it four straight I times? I got the, yeah. I played it f maybe five straight. Were you going up and doing it? Or were you hitting from No, I was in the distance. I was sniping. <laughs> you were sniping from your And phone. then finally a guy, one of the, like, the fourth, no one noticed. I was like, no one notices. So then what finally. Was the, what was the scene? How many people were there? A lot. Oh, it was packed. TGI Fridays is where all the, the industry, all the service industry goes to hang awesome. out afterwards. Really? So all the fine ass bitches are in there. Damn, all the waitresses. All the All the serving girls. All the serving girls. People of color waitresses were in there. Really? Fine ass people of color. Damn. Dude. Yes. And they were, they were, That's you know, it was party time. Say. Yeah, of course. All these fucking people of color. <laughs> but the first couple waves of Dragula, no one noticed. The waves, were, <laughs> but I overdid it on the touch. I played it too many times in a row. Yeah, you got greedy. So finally, uh, this guy was sitting with his girlfriend. He was like, from us to the stoners. Yeah. And I saw him perk his head up. <laughs> When Dragula came on again, and I was like, yo, you like Dragula? And he was like, is that you playing this? <laughs> like, and I was like, no. Who was this dude? Just a random guy on a date. He was like, I, and then he was like, I had a long day of work. I don't like it that much. Damn. <laughs> he heard it like six times. And then some Lina. dickhead on a date. some white fuck was oh, like, fuck who's it. playing Dragula? Trying to control everything. Trying to Fucking control loser. everyone's of vibing in Dragula. Dude. Everybody was vibing. I mean, viral videos of probably dudes all like dancing to Dragula. Like, dude, this just is hot shit. young women of color dancing to dig through the ditches and burn. <laughs> I was just, I was, it was a fucking vibe. It was so vibey. The vibe was so and good. And then, uh, some white fucking asshole. And then some dude. white fucking Fuck! devil was like, who's playing that? And I was like, do you like it? <laughs> and he was like, is that you? And I was like, no. <laughs> he was like, it's definitely you. And then, uh, 
I made. I didn't realize I had played it like three more times. How many? It was loaded up. How many more? So after I like fought somebody, I was like, I'm sorry. (laughs) Just kept that intro is so funny to hear that like weird. (laughs) I forget. I don't even know what noise that is. And then uh, how's the intro go? uh, I don't even know how to describe it. The beginning of Dragula is like. I had a five. uh, no, no, before the guitar. It's like a weird, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Hold on. Let's let's actually just... Let's get the... Uh... Yeah, you need to paint a picture here. Think of this. Muslims. Women of color. <laughs> TGI Fridays. <laughs> now think of a dude going like this. <laughs> She's like, God damn it, I just want to enjoy my burger. <laughs> so then here's what I was doing. Dude. Yeah. This so just gets then, spooky as hell. It's out so of spooky. Dude. And then what you gotta do when you a lot of guys think they're good with the touch tunes, dragon what you gotta do oh. is you gotta get the people going. So you gotta sure. to toss in like a remix to ignition. For sure. Or like a I'm real remix. Yeah. A lot of remixes. Yeah, definitely. But once you put on a song that everybody loves. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all like, attention. woo! They all start dancing and yeah. having so you're fun. DJing and the party. then you hit a Dragula. You bring them back in with a fucking Dragula. <laughs> I'm a counterpuncher on the touch. So you're DJing this party. I, yeah, I DJed the TGI Fridays. And then people started. Oh, you like, might be DJI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> DJI Fridays. DJI Fridays, dude. That's pretty sick name. <laughs> so, yeah, I was DJing it. And we went out with two, me and my lady went out with two fans after the show. Nice. Two lucky fellows. Yeah, and dude. then they got to witness me and my lady getting a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you're done talking? We're not talking for the rest of the was night? Was this after Dragula? <laughs> this is, I mean, during Dragula. There was oh no, there was no after. I left with about four Dragulas in the chamber. <laughs> So yeah, if you listen to this and, and the you manager have, has to reset it with the key. If there's the, too many Dragulas lined up, the manager has to come has out to of the come back out, yeah. and like undo a, the, the Dragula. The waitress key. was upset. Our waitress was upset. <laughs> Why? Because she was like, "Is that you?" Doing that? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. How did I forget this? What? In the hotel in Indianapolis, check in. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna jack off. Yeah, I'm in there. Naked on top of the made bed. Fully naked. I was about to get in the shower. Yeah. Cracked open the lotion. I'm laying there. Phone like this. Dude. A dude just opens the door. <laughs> a dude just walks in. What? And, Did he and, feast his eyes? And it took him a long time to avert his eyes. His what? gaze was on my body. Oh, he was- and I, I, I also didn't. He froze. I didn't move. I just was like, dude, what are you doing? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't. There was no shame. I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? (laughs) He was like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I said, my life, my rules. (laughs) It was crazy. He was like, no one's supposed to be in here. I was like, well, I'm in here and I'm fucking jacking off. (laughs) I haven't been caught whacking off in so long. I didn't give a fuck. I thought Dude, I would be. I thought I'd be mortified. It I was didn't. almost a lady. How was it not a lady? A lady, I think, might have been worse. You think so? That would have been a little shameful. I mean, I don't know why. I think, dude, I just saw an Indian guy's face. <laughs> and he did it maybe because of the light. Maybe because it was dark in my room and it took him a second to get adjusted because he was like. No way, dude. He was just feasting his really, eyes. Feasting his eyes. I mean, it must have looked nuts. <laughs> I was on top of a white, you were, all white you were, bed. I was, camif- <laughs> I was like an octopi. <laughs> he might not have seen you, dude. I don't think he saw me because he stood there for a minute like, hello? I was like, what are you, dude? <laughs> it was like Beauty and the Beast. Also, the furniture like, started talking. This far away. Really? <laughs> so close. What? <laughs> dude, what? He opened the front door. It was like. He definitely saw you fapping on the He saw bed. me rock hard, too. <laughs> as hard as it gets. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was not ashamed. If he would have got me early. Yeah. Lotioning up working a pud. Up a soft working, bird. working a pud with lotion. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Dude. Yeah, that's the best I was thing la- ever. I laughed. He heard me laughing. He, he was like, don't tell anyone. I was like, I'm not going to tell anyone. What the fuck? What's it? Why He's is gonna he going to get getting- fucking fired. 
Oh, yeah. If I went down to the desk and I was like, what the fuck was he that? He walked in on me masturbating. I was in there masturbating. I was rock fucking hard. I, I, I was about a, to come. I had a boner. <laughs> By the way, right back to work. Of course, dude. Put the hard hat back on. Of course. Ah! <laughs> God damn. And then I- he knocked. He waited. He went outside, closed the door. Waited like 20 seconds and then knocked. And I was like, dude, you know what I'm doing. You know I'm, you know I'm ass naked I'm jerking off. And he was like, I have your amenities. I was like, you fucking, leave him at the fucking door. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what do you think? Were you still? So you had to talk yeah, I had to stand up rock hard with a lotion to boner <laughs> at the hotel, talking through a door. Like, no man dude. should ever have to do that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a wild day. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find this picture. So we, me and my family went. Uh, to laser tag we took my niece to play laser tag and my dad's under the black light we got inside and my dad's fucking it's, jeans unbe- it's unbelievable riddled I I think about okay it. okay so i get it now so yeah. it wasn't wet with cum right no, then it was under a black light <sighs> so we're standing in a, this? Uh-huh. whatever in you a, think it is now it's you're incredible. gonna be fucking baffled we're in a semicircle <laughs> no. asking that this kid is giving no. us the directions to how to play laser tag no. and my i hear my sister she's like jesus christ dad <laughs> And we both, me, my sister, and my dad all look at the same time. My dad goes, ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I have never laughed that hard about it. Like, full fucking cum. Show him. It, I will, I will. But, listen, <laughs> but then he didn't give a fuck. He kept asking questions. Like, he was drawing attention to himself. Just asking directions about He was like, what if I, uh, wait, how do I shoot the satellite? What happens if I shoot the satellite? Is that 10,000? I'm like, Dad, shut the fuck up, Excuse dude. Me, can I change teams? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Also, I had enough time to take my phone out and take a picture of my dad's cum jeans. Look at his hand in his pocket, tucked in. Fucking. What about the cum on the Dude, that is a fucking so crime. So yeah, my dad's tough. I grew up in a nice house and just played video games all the time. My dad grew up like just a moron. He wanted to grow fish in their pool over the winter. <laughs> You'd, put, you'd catch fish from the creek and put them in the pool and it would freeze over. And then in the summer when it would thaw out, there'd just be tons of dead fish. He's a moron. Oh my god, his stories are fucking hilarious. But this was a different time. Like, he, he had to fight other kids at the Knights of Columbus picnic. He remembers being like fourth grade having a fist fight for the dads. But, uh,. No, he got in a fight one time. My uncle, my uncle uh, Frank, he's the oldest, and he's the only one that's not huge and jacked. He's like a normal guy. But, I mean, he's still a fucking psycho. Like, he went to Notre Dame. He left Notre Dame. He, he, he went to the Marines in Vietnam and then left and came back and became a prison warden. <laughs> he's a fucking animal. <laughs> and this is how funny it is, because he works, he's, he's been in prisons his whole life. So, like, he talks like a black guy from the 70s. <laughs> so, I'm like, I'll see, I'll see you. Like, What's up, Holmes? <laughs> I'm like, all right. You job ass motherfucker. I'm like, all right. Like my my cousin Jeff caught him bench pressing in the garage listening to Ghetto Boys. <laughs> he's like, he's like 68. This <laughs> is fucking hilarious. <laughs> so he he at the time he was a volunteer firefighter in Steelton, Steelton, Pennsylvania, and. Uh, he would he would he would be like a first responder. So he had a what is it called a scanner, and he would take calls and he would get to the fire first. So he got a call once, and uh, he raced over there to get it. These people said there was a house fire, and he got there and it was just a uh, just four fucking idiots, and it was a motorcycle that had caught fire that they just put out <clears throat> with a garden hose. <laughs> My uncle Joe gets there. And it's just a fucking shitty motorcycle that was on fire. They put it out with a garden hose, and he was like, all right, well, now I need to use your phone, you fucking idiots. And they're like, all right, you can come use your phone. And he's inside, and he's, still, he's talking shit on the guys that called. He, was, he called the fire department, and he was like, hey, don't rush through the city to get here. Like, don't speed through the fucking city. This is just a bullshit fire. These fucking morons. <laughs> Set. This is something. That, and while he's talking shit on these guys, calling them fucking morons, one of them just sucker punches them. <laughs> and knocks them out in their kitchen. Just knocked out my uncle. And they, they, they obviously went on his way. He went home and he was like, well, he was all fucked up. <laughs> he got home and he saw my dad. And I guess he told my dad what had happened. So my dad was like, fuck that shit. <laughs> We're getting the boys. We're going to these fuckers' house. <laughs> We're going to fuck them up. So my dad and three of his friends... 
Uh, one of them had a broken arm, which is funny. <laughs> so a cast on his arm. They, they get in the car and they drive over to this guy's house and they kick the door open and it's just a family. They got the wrong house. <laughs> it's just a family watching TV. <laughs> So, like the kids were on the floor, it looked nice. They're like, where the fuck is he? They're like, oh, they, they live next door. So, like, oh shit. <laughs> All right, thank you. And, walk, and then they kick in those guys' door, and he said they were just sitting on the couch. So, they just, him and his four friends just started beating the shit out of these four guys just while they're in their living room. And then, uh, like, the guy with the cast was hitting them with the fucking cast. And then one of the guys pulled out a gun. So, like, so then my dad and his friends ran. Like, just ran, he said they ran right through the fucking screen door, which is funny. <laughs> 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 but, uh, while they were running out, one of my dad's friends was like, we're gonna burn your fucking house down, you asshole. And, uh, the neighbors whose house they broke into called the fire department. <laughs> and my Uncle Joe got the call. <laughs> Frank, Uncle Frank got the call. Then, I'm running long, baby, fuck it. Um, a couple, a couple years later, my dad is going to buy a six-pack in a bar in Steelton, and he notices those four guys that they, the house they broke into are playing pool. And he was like, I, could, I remember seeing them through the fucking uh, the mirror behind the bar, and he was like, I noticed they noticed me. But he was using his brother Joe's fake ID. And their brother Joe's like, he's the biggest, strongest, but he's the only nice one. Like he, he went to the Naval Academy for football. Like he's a big guy, but he's he's kind of a weird pussy. <laughs> he's into ancestry now. <laughs> but he was a jacked monster, and uh, he was a sweet guy. So my dad gives the bartender his ID, gets the fuck out of there. Apparently, those guys went up to the bartender and were like, "Who the fuck was that?" And the bartender was like, "That was Joe Gillis. He gave him my uncle's ID." So then a couple couple weeks later, my dad's with his brother Joe. And his brother Joe's back from college, and he's like, oh, I got a, I got a notice from the post office. Hopefully it's my college yearbook. <laughs> he's all excited. And then he gets to the post office, it was a summons for breaking and entering and assault. <laughs> got charged with assault. And then, you know, dropped, because they were like, who the fuck's that? <laughs> anyway, that's it. You guys are great. Fuck yeah. Six, one, please. Two breakfasts. See you guys. My mom got knocked out, and I didn't resuscitate her. Jesus. My mean? sister looked at me. My mom fell down the steps. She was shit-faced. She's going to love that I'm telling this story. This <laughs> oh is great. God, right? But yeah, my, my family was out getting fucked up. And then when they came home, I was in the basement, and my mom came down to see me. And she had a handful of cookies. <laughs> and she dropped. She had Oreos. Dude, stop. And she dropped an Oreo to and tried up. to recover oh that. My God. But she dove, she dove down the steps Fuck head first. <laughs> Fucking Pete Rose slid <laughs> and just fucking <laughs> 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 trying to save an yeah. Oreo. And she got totally knocked out. And I, my oh. sister's behind her. How old are you? I'm sorry. I'm 30. Not at the time, sorry. At the time, this is probably two years 29. ago. 29. Oh, no, this is actually probably like four or five years ago. Four, this is, yeah, this is recent. Yeah. God and uh, it, dude. I would throw up laughing if I saw Well, some. I heard my sister. I didn't see her fall. My sister was behind her and was like, Mom's dead. She was like, oh, fuck, Mom. Mom. She was like, Shane, come here. Mom's dead. Oh, I was like, God. I came over, and my dad was shit-faced, <laughs> and he was up in the kitchen, and he was like, he's, he lost his composure right away. He was like, what's going on down there? <laughs> oh, he's crying? It was crazy right away. trying not to laugh? They were all drunk, and my sister was like, call, call 911, Dad. Mom's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. And, I get to my mom, and she's knocked out. How did you not tell snoring. me the story? This is how you should open up every she had, morning. She had me. black in her mouth from the Oreos. Her mouth was oh. all fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, purple from the wine. Oh, my and God. And my sister, my sister was like, we got to give her... Her lips are purple. Her teeth are black. <laughs> she's yeah. decaying. Yeah. But no, she was like, we got to give her mouth to mouth. She's like, give her mouth to mouth. Ew. And even in a moment where I was convinced she was dead, I was like, my mom is dead right now. <laughs> I was still like... You fucking <laughs> like in that moment, my sister was like, "You got to give her mouth to mouth." And I looked at her, I was like, "Fucking, I don't. You do. You, you give her mouth to mouth." So did she wake up? She, did she the woke ambulance? up. The, the ambulance did show up. So now we've got a fucking EMT in our fucking basement. 
And my mom woke up and was mortified. She was like so embarrassed, but she broke her, her fucking. Katie, my sister, I stayed the fuck she away. Did I was like, she'll lick. be all right. She'll she be did all right. Oreo lick of the fingers. Oh, there. she got the Oreos. <laughs> uh, my mom's hand was like, oh, finger was totally fucked up, and she didn't notice it because obviously she was knocked out. And then she sits up and is like, I think my hand hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh fuck, <laughs> like, oh, the oh, John, yeah. a John yeah. always pinky. <laughs> <laughs> she would cry if she knew I was telling this story, but yeah. No, I like I like history, so it's coming. I'm not a Republican now, but it's it's coming. There's no. When I'm on the road, I travel every fucking weekend. There's, you know, there's nothing to do during the day, and then at night you do stand up. But during the day, I travel every week, and it's sometimes I like to visit like historical places throughout the country. So a couple summers ago, don't laugh at that. <laughs> Shut up, dude. It's not lame at all. <laughs> you guys just laughed at me from the balcony. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> yeah. So a couple summers ago, I was in Washington, D.C., and I went and I visited uh, Mount Vernon. I went and I visited George Washington's house. Uh, turns out it was George Washington's plantation. <laughs> ah, shucks. <laughs> Dude, I get in there. I'm the only one there. It was the first summer during COVID. I'm the only visitor there. It's me, and if, so, if you've been there before, you know. It's 15 reenactors that don't break character. They stayed. Everyone else was in the 1700s. I was the only guy there. Like, I signed up for the tour, and my tour guide was Martha Washington. It wasn't her. It was some fat bitch. <laughs> I saw right to it. I signed up for the tour, so me and Martha have to hang out together for 15 minutes to see if anybody else signs up for, like, the 3 o'clock tour or whatever. Of course they don't. I got to make small talk with a woman that won't stop pretending to be from the 1700s. It's fucking insane. What do you say? I was just out there with her, like... Where's George Washington? <laughs> She's like, oh, the general? He won't be joining us today. He's in his chambers. It's just you and I. I was like, what are you? <laughs> you trying to fuck me? <laughs> Never broke. No one broke character. Enough time's gone by. I've had enough to think about why nobody would break character while I was there. And for real, I'm fairly certain they thought that I was a special needs man. <laughs> Like, they all got together, and they were like, look, this is obviously a big day for this guy. <laughs> Nobody break character. Let's make it magic for him. Like, they watched me park my car when I got there. And when I got out, they were like, oh. <laughs> One of the driving ones. Look at him. It was also during COVID, and the mask did not do me any favors. If you can only see my eyes. I got the eyes for it. It was sunny out. I was It also, it also didn't help I walked up to my tour guide, like, where's George Washington? He's <laughs> like, oh, you're a big guy. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so me and Martha, me and Martha go in for the tour. Due to COVID restrictions at the time, we were not allowed to speak indoors. All right, so for $36, me, and a woman dressed like Martha Washington fucking dead silently walked through for a full hour. You need to be able to talk for this tour to have any value at all. There's nothing to read in there. It's just old chairs and shit. Me and this lady went room to room for an hour, and this was the tour. I was in the corner of every room just... I'm not getting it. We get outside when we were done. She's like, do you have any questions? I was like, yeah, what the fuck was that? What was that? What'd you and me just do? So that was the end of me and Martha. I go off by myself. I start looking around. Like I said, it was the first summer during COVID. All right. So we're in the middle, you know, we're in the middle of tearing down statue season. And I was at a founding father's plantation during all of that. So I wanted to check out the slave quarters. I want to see what all the fuss was. <laughs> uh huh. No, whatever. Fuck you guys. What'd you guys do? What'd you guys do that summer? Fucking post black squares on your Instagram? Is that what you did? How dare you judge me? How dare you? I was there. Boots on the ground at a founding father's plantation. Growing, learning as a white, going down. 
For real though, I was in there. I was in George Washington's slave quarters. By the way, the first thing you do when you walk into George Washington's slave quarters is you go, ooh. <laughs> Somehow worse than I thought they were gonna be. It's rough, dude. That guy had a fucking dungeon. For real, you didn't know. I'm in there. And I'm by myself and I'm like, you know, you remember that time. It was a tense fucking time in this country. And I'm in there by myself like, Jesus fucking Christ. And then I hear some footsteps coming down the path behind me. And now blocking the only exit of the room was a slave reenactor. <laughs> they have those there. And he did not break character. I turned around, he was like, oh, well, hello there, sir. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude, please, you don't have to do the character. I'd give anything for you to not do that character. <laughs> he didn't break. He was, he was like, look at those clothes. You must be from the future. Hello, time traveler. I was like, no, I'm from right now. What are you doing out? Come here, guy. <laughs> No, I did not say that. Obviously, I didn't fucking say that. I didn't say a word. I was frozen. I was paralyzed with white guilt. I didn't say a word. I was... And he knew what he was doing. He, for real, he knew what he was doing, dude. He wasn't, he wasn't giving me the George Washington tour. He was just drilling me with shit I didn't want to hear. He was hitting me with the word. You remember that time, tense time. That guy walks in there and sees me. I know what I look like. I know exactly. I got, you know, I've got the body type of a guy who says... Let's see the rest of the body cam footage before we jump to any conclusions. <laughs> I know what I look like. He wasn't even giving me the George Washington tour. He was just telling me fucked up shit. He was talking about other people. He was like, Thomas Jefferson had about six slave children of his own. He only freed two of his own children during his lifetime. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Isn't that a bummer? Thomas Jefferson literally enslaved some of his own children. <sighs> yeah. Now you know how I felt, dude. I was getting fucking drilled with this information. That's when I started playing possum a little bit. I was like, maybe I am a special needs guy. <laughs> so he was hitting me with the fucking white guilt facts. I was... I mean, it was a battle, dude. It was like two wizards fighting. Finally, I won by just lowering my mask. He was mid-rant. Oh, shit. My bad, brother. You fucking... He let me go. He freed me. That's when I went to the George Washington Museum. There's a museum there. that as soon as you walk into that museum, they start pumping up George. You walk in, they're like, George Washington was a great man. And you're like... I just came from his dungeon. But you know, I'm American. I'll forget about that part of his history. What else did he do, you know? We're not gonna let human trafficking define these guys, are we? Huh? I don't know, anyway. I was in there, I was going through the museum. I'll admit, I still had, I had girl brain towards George from what I'd seen. I was still mad at him. I was going through the museum, I was like, George Washington, fucking asshole. <laughs> George Washington had red hair. I was like, ugly bitch. <laughs> I was trying to be cool and liberal and hate him. I couldn't do it, dude. They started pumping up George. Got me going, dude. <laughs> I was going through the museum. They're like, George Washington was six foot two. I was like, nice. <laughs> like, he could never tell a lie. I was like, this guy's unbelievable. <laughs> like, he single handedly defeated the British. At this point, I'm back. <laughs> No, dude, I'm worse. <laughs> Nobody better touch my statues. I love statues. I'm ready to get on Facebook, defend Rittenhouse, whatever I need to do to help this country get better. I'm back, 100%. Love America, love George Washington. And then you get to the end of the tour, and the last thing you see on the George Washington tour is George Washington's teeth in a case. And if you, you know, the myth is George Washington had wooden teeth. Turns out, George Washington had it was ivory and lead dentures with horse and cow teeth on the top row and human slave teeth on the bottom row. Damn! What the fuck? That's it. That's how the tour ends. You gotta walk outside to a hot, sunny parking lot. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> also, lead with the teeth. Show me the teeth right away. Dude, don't make me love George Washington for two hours and at the very end be like, you wanna see some wild shit? <laughs> 
And once you see his teeth, every story about him makes perfect sense. Like, he was a man of few words. It's like, yeah, dude, he had fucking donkey teeth and fucking <laughs> lead in his mouth for a decade. You can't keep lead in your mouth for a decade. That would give you, for real, like rabies-like symptoms. You guys... Like, I can't believe we defeated the British. So I know how we did it. We had a fucking six-foot-two, red-headed, retarded guy <laughs> out in the woods just waiting for those motherfuckers, dude. Six-two in 1770, that's like 6'10 today. Red hair, horse teeth, a sword, just... Ah! Do you want to tax me, motherfucker? You know how terrifying that guy was coming out of the woods? Just, ah! Some five foot British guy. Oh! <laughs> Run, it's George! <laughs> you ever see that painting of George crossing the Delaware? Standing. He's the only one standing on the rowboat. Everyone else is like, George, you gotta get down. <laughs> They're over there, get him! <laughs> you know what happened that day when George crossed the Delaware? It was Christmas Day, and uh, it was a bit of a massacre because George caught the British off guard because uh, the British absolutely correctly assumed they were like, uh, only a retarded guy's gonna try to cross this, <laughs> this icy river today in a rowboat. <laughs> Fortunately for them, our first president was on the other side of that river. <laughs> it's like, get in the boat, we gotta kill these motherfuckers for <laughs> fun. I know I said retarded there a couple times. My bad on that. I'm not trying to give myself a pass on being able to use that word. But I will say, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, I do have family members with Down syndrome. <laughs> it almost got me up. <laughs> I dodged it, but it nicked me, it nicked me. I'm a bit of a daywalker myself. <laughs> it's funny when you bring up Down syndrome, you can always tell who's never been around it in their lives. You know what I mean? Like, if I tell people, if I'm like, yeah, I have family members with Down syndrome, people that have never been around it are always like, oh. <laughs> like, Down syndrome is the fucking end of the world. Like, oh. Are they okay? You're are they doing okay? It's like, they're doing better than everybody I know. <laughs> they're the only dudes I know having a good time pretty consistently. Sorry they're not on fucking Adderall and anti-anxiety like the rest of us. They're on fucking Capri Suns. <laughs> Having a good time. Dude, my Uncle Danny, my Uncle Danny sneaks grilled cheese sandwiches into restaurants just in case they don't serve grilled cheese sandwiches. We don't know where he's getting these fucking things. It's the best. It's the best. You'll be out to dinner with him, you look across the table, you see him sneaking at grilled cheese. Yeah, yo, where'd you get that cheese, Danny? His dad's with him, he's like, that fucker, he's been making him at night. I know he is. I'm not making them at night, Dad. <laughs> then he'll look at you and be like, I'm making them at night. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than that, dude? What's better? If you I, saw I don't know with, if I knew how to if react. If you saw a dude it. throw up on his mouth. And oh, like, I can start puking. I start dry eating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you blow into a, 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 a mouth with throw up on it? No way. I couldn't either. Nope. That's There's it. No you're dead. Yeah, it, even if it was a family member, I would, I would, I, it, it'd be tough. It'd be really tough, dude. You taste all that bile. Oh, and then you throw up into that mouth, and it's even worse. Then you gotta scoop it out. Yeah, then it then it then just becomes a viral video. <laughs> yeah. My mom got knocked out, and I didn't resuscitate her. Jesus. What do you my mean? sister looked at me. My mom fell down the steps. She was shit faced. She's gonna love it. I'm telling this story. This is great. Oh right. I was I was home. By the way, this is his dad's story. <laughs> yeah, 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 she yeah, was yeah, shit faced. Yeah. She fell down the steps. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, give me uh, a beer. No, we're white. We don't fuck with that shit. Yep. <laughs> Puerto Rican retard. Uh, Puerto Ricans don't have two stories in their houses. <laughs> Puerto Ricans don't have two parents. <laughs> yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. Um, but yeah, my my family was out getting fucked up, and then when they came home, I was in the basement, and my mom came down to see me. And she had a handful of cookies. Oh and she dropped. She had Oreos. Dude, stop. And she dropped an Oreo and, and tried up. to recover oh that. But she dove. She dove down the steps Fuck. head first. <laughs> fucking Pete Rose slid and just fucking to ate steps. <laughs> trying to save an Oreo. Yeah. And she got totally knocked out. And I, my oh. sister's behind her. How old are you? I'm sorry. I'm 30. 
No, at the time, sorry. At the time, this was probably two years 29. ago. 29. Oh, no, this is actually probably like four or five years ago. Four, this is, yeah, this is recent. Yeah. God and damn, uh, dude. I would throw up laughing if I saw Well, <laughs> I heard my sister. I didn't see her fall. My sister was behind her and was like, Mom's dead. She was like, oh, fuck, Mom. Mom. She was like, Shane, come here. Mom's dead. Oh, <laughs> I was like, God. I came over, and my dad was <laughs> shit-faced, and he was up in the kitchen, and he was like... He's Where he lost Oreos? his composure right away. He was like, "What's going on down there?" <laughs> oh, he's crying. It was crazy yeah, right away. Trying not to laugh. They were all drunk, and my sister was like, "Call call nine one one, Dad. Mom's dead." <laughs> oh my and god! I get to my mom, and she's knocked out. How did you not tell snoring. me the story? This is how you should open up every she had, morning. She had black me. in her mouth from the Oreos. Her mouth was oh. all fucking gross <laughs> <laughs> and like purple from the wine. Oh my god! And my god. sister, <laughs> my sister was like. We gotta her give lips her- are purple. Her teeth are black. She's <laughs> yeah, decaying. Yeah. But no, she was like, we got to give her mouth to mouth. She's like, give her mouth to mouth. Ew. And even in a moment where I was convinced she was dead, I was like, my mom is dead right now. <laughs> I was still like, you fucking. <laughs> like in that moment, my sister was like, you got to give her mouth to mouth. And I looked at her, I was like, fucking, I don't. You do. You, <laughs> you give her mouth to mouth. Also, is mouth to mouth appropriate anytime somebody dies? I, I think that's the first thing you, you think to do. Do you, you give mouth to mouth that they break their neck? I think that's actually worse. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably. Their head like <laughs> snap. Well, start all pushing on their fucking broken trachea. I said, uh, <laughs> we got to get her fucking tongue out because she was laying on her back and she was knocked out. <laughs> I like, just make sure out. she's not I eating I would just that. put my dick in front of her face. <laughs> you would? You yeah. would put your dick in front your of her face? Your mom? Yeah, knocked yeah. out mom? No, your mom. <laughs> no, your mom, I had to get her dude. tongue out. <laughs> no, your mom, dude. <laughs> Damn, you are coming in hot today. <laughs> yeah, I'll, cr- I'll crush my guests. I don't care. <laughs> no one's safe here. Shane, I got... So did she wake up? She, she the woke up. The, the ambulance did show up. So now we've got a fucking EMT in our fucking basement. And my mom woke up and was mortified. She was like so embarrassed. But she broke her fucking... Katie, my sister, I stayed the fuck she away. Did I was Oreo like, she'll lick. be all right. She'll she be all right. Oreo lick of the fingers. Oh, answer. she got the Oreos. <laughs> uh, my mom's hand was like, oh, finger was totally fucked up, and she didn't notice it because obviously she was knocked out. And then she sits up and is like, I think my hand hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh fuck, <laughs> like, oh, the bone John, sticking yeah. her for him. A John yeah. always pinky. <laughs> <laughs> she would cry if she knew I was telling this story, but yeah, good yeah. for her. She had a good. Yeah, run. she made it. Do you have any naked pictures of your mom? <laughs> I saw her naked recently. Was in the, is she doing all right? It was a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I learned, which was really disheartening, was uh, well, first off, I found out this week my dad still comes. Yeah. You told me that. Dude, I didn't know dads could Can come get... still. He still jizzes. I guess, according to everybody, yeah, dads. Yeah, your dad. Of course, he should still come. Yeah, I know. And now I, Can I tell you what my like, problem is? Fucking... My perspective on parents are they're young. Like my dad was murdered when he was twenty six. My dad, my mom died when she was like forty three or forty four. So oh, like, I just shit. imagine all parents as being forty. Like yeah, when I, yeah, bad, yeah. Like when I yeah, think yeah. about my mom, I'm thinking of a 40 years old. 40 years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what they're going to look like when you get to Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rican heaven. heaven. What is Puerto Rican? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's our Florida. hell. It's their heaven. Just, it's just our the hell. mainland. <laughs> Electricity. Uh, my friend just saw my mom naked like three years ago. Uh, really? He cuts our lawn. Uh, on the gay one of those, does like, one, of those, one of those ride mowers, and she was just cleaning, like dusting, ass nude. And she's like sixty. She did that on purpose. Sixty-eight. Don't you, don't you know what I, hey, so to answer, how did you see your mom naked? Um, I was leaving the house. Someone was calling the house while I was. My mom thought I left. Someone the the house phone was ringing. Did she fell. So on this the is probably steps? about five years ago. <laughs> this is like the same week she fell down the steps. She's, this she's is a good week for me and my mom. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then somebody called for her. So I was like, Mom, the phone's for you. Mom. A landline? She still has yeah. a landline? And I was fucking pissed that she wasn't answering. So I like walked up the steps like, fucking Mom, <laughs> like, answer the fucking phone. <laughs> and then uh, she walked out of her bathroom totally and naked. Mom's out. Totally naked. What's and I was like, like, fuck. <laughs> but I remember. How old is she again? Uh, at this time, probably like 60, 58. She's cute though, right? I mean, she's, like, she's, she's not a an good ugly shape. woman. Yeah, she's, she's, a, she's, she's not like, she doesn't look like me. She doesn't look like a fat pale. Your dad outkicked this coverage. She, she uh, no, my dad was lead. hot. My dad was very hot. Did I show you my dad when he was younger? <laughs> no, not yet. My dad's yet. hot as fuck. Yeah? Yeah, he was a beast. Uh, <laughs> big dick, too. I saw his dick a bunch when I was a kid. And I, was like, I saw the dad, load dude. at the... Uh, you saw how much he cummed yeah, his pants, Jesus. too. Show them the picture of that. Nah. We we're just going to look in the dark on his dad's all his dad a laser tag, talk. and he's got just a fucking a jellyfish mess. Why? A my dad was coming in his, his pants. pants. <laughs> he didn't really come in his pants. Show him. I'll show you the picture in a second. But what? The last uh, the thing that stuck story. with me. But my mom. Is, my mom was more upset about it than I was. She walked out. Not that there was no cum at this point. Sure. 
she walks out of the bathroom. I'm standing there. I was like, ew. Like, I, that's how I reacted. I wasn't like, ew. I was just like, oh, fuck, mom. Like, ew, ew. <laughs> and she was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, she got real upset. But I remember the one thing that stuck with me is peripherally. Her jaw was wired shut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still trying to suck I it in saw, Oreo. She, she <laughs> trimmed her pubes. Oh, that means she they're active. And this is what I was saying. She's no. maintaining. I remember being like, I thought it was going to be a fucking chaotic, Bufant. just a bush. Yeah. That was nice. But it wasn't. That's the shape of a heart. Yeah. That's because your dad requests it. I know, but yeah, I remember being like, like that was troubling. Keep that at like That was the worst part. Yeah. They're active. How, how much did she trim it? Did she just like, because uh, what I do is I just use head clippers. Yeah, that's what I do. And I shave it down to make it like a nice short, but all yeah. across the board, there's, no, one, two there's no shaping. I do one. Yeah. So Same. It's, there's no shaping at all. It's just across the board. Mm -hmm. Just It's a fucking, you know, mm -hmm. not a fucking mess, right? Because you're undercarriage. You have to so go under. So did she do basically what a fucking dude should be doing at the very least? Yeah, under the balls, in between everything? I got to be honest. Know. It was. Or I'm saying, did she trim it to the point where she's shaving and you can actually see lip? I didn't look. I want to know if you can boy, see lip. Oh, because I was locked onto her tits. <laughs> but uh, I think I actually was. I think I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. But uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable, but it was. Did you see lip? I didn't see any lip. I didn't see any lip. <laughs> My but, yeah. mom was comfortable being naked around us. Fuck yeah. Chill. It's all good. I'm I'm trying to find this picture. So we, me and my family went uh, to laser tag. We took my niece to play laser tag, and my dad's under the black light. We got inside, and my dad's fucking it's jeans. Unbe it's unbelievable. Riddled. I, I think about okay, it. Okay, okay. So I get it now. So yeah. it wasn't wet with cum right no, then. It was under a black light. Dude, so we're standing. When you in see a, this, uh -huh. whatever you a, think it is now, you're incredible. gonna be fucking baffled. We're in a semicircle, <laughs> no. asking that this kid is giving no. us the directions to how to play laser tag. No. And my, I hear my sister. She's like, Jesus Christ, Dad. <laughs> And we both, me, my sister, and my dad all look at the same time. My dad goes, ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I have never laughed that hard about it. Like, full fucking cum. Show him. It, I will, I will. But, listen. <laughs> but then he didn't give a fuck. He kept asking questions. Like, he was drawing attention to himself. Just asking directions about He was like, what if I, uh, wait, how do I shoot the satellite? What happens if I shoot the satellite? Is that 10,000? I'm like, Dad, shut the fuck up, dude. Just because God. I changed teams. <laughs> <see the other laughs> one. Uh, Shane, you grew up in Philly or outside of Philly? I grew up in Her Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> outside of Dude, Harris. it looks like a fucking x-ray, doesn't it? Full cum. That's all cum. All old cum. Can we show that to the camera? <laughs> yeah, you can show it to the camera. <laughs> that was in the laser tag. So, so also, also, I had enough time to take my phone out and take a picture of my dad's cum jeans. <laughs> Look at his hand in his pocket. Tucked in. Fucking. <laughs> Look at all the cum on the pants. Dude, that is a fucking so crime did he, scene of did a cum. Did he go to strip clubs and come in his pants and that's what it is? I have no idea, man. That's just, a, that's an old did dad thing. Did you ever ask him? I was, I mean, I am still curious about it, but. He doesn't wash them. That's just old wrangler come for like 20 years i mean that's what i had to I, that's what i surmised i think well. he's beaten off just putting the zipper down in like the basement and then he just comes oh, think he launches wipes onto the pants. well maybe just like a little excess oh for wow years. yeah wow. that's i've been doing a lot of thought about this since i've seen it. it's I mean, crazy well, how do you do that because i don't well what do i do now and i go Ooh, i'll watch a youtube video i know one thing i can do true that's the that's the yeah. <laughs> or eat. All right. I'm like a baby. Yeah, I'll eat. I'm like, or I'll feed. Then you whale out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then I am the whale. Have we? Have I ever said that on here? <laughs> no. What well, my my bastard niece did to me? No. She's, I hate her. There was the thumbnail for the whale was on TV at my sister's house. Of course, my sister told me this. Really? Oh, she yeah. just she didn't even say I wasn't to you. there. That's f my sister called me to go. Hey, just so you know, <laughs> my, our fucking three year old, my three year old niece was looking at the television queue and the thumbnail for the whale was on which is just his fat <laughs> face it looks a lot like me especially <laughs> no i swear to god if it's just his face <laughs> and if you're three years old she goes uncle shane <laughs> like, i got the phone call and it was like hey just so you know because i thought you were the whale i was like all right well thanks i just said for real i was like all right good call i'll talk to you later <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I haven't talked to you in three weeks. <laughs> I told you I got my belly looks like Peppa Pig's dad. Because of that, I haven't watched that movie. You have to watch I it. I can't watch it, dude. If you, I if I think people think I look like the you whale, don't I'll look watch. like the.
fucking whale. You have I to. Know, but Zaza thought I did, dude. Hey, dude, I, I don't look like Peppa. Google Peppa Pig's dad, dude. Check out Peppa Pig's dad's belly, dude. My belly doesn't fucking look like that. What the, fuck, dude? The other day we're sitting there and she like rubbed my stomach and she goes, "What are those bumps?" I'm like, "They're pimples." She's like, "Why do you have pimples? You got to get those off." You and don't I was look like, like I don't look like Peppa Pig's dad. God damn it. <laughs> Let me he has a shitty goatee like me. <laughs> <laughs> if I wore glasses, I'd be ruined. <laughs> no, you don't look like Peppa She said Pig's. my belly looks like Peppa Pig's dad's belly. That is your family. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Peppa Pig family. <laughs> That's why she thinks you look like that, because the family dynamic's perfect. It's true. <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! I'm the whale, dude. I am the. I watched the movie and I said, "That is me." <laughs> he just <laughs> watched the whale's thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> you could see it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not true. laughs> Devastating. Did you Google it right away? When they said, no, I knew exactly what it was. I've seen the. Thumbnail. <laughs> you gotta watch the movie, dude. I, I refuse. You to gotta watch. Captain Ahab, dude. You have I, to see I the, will never watch. That's the, whale, that's the elusive whale, dude. You have to watch it, dude. The open. I don't want to spoil it for you. The opening scene. Did you watch the whale? No. The opening scene is the best opening scene I think of every movie. Better than Saving Private Ryan and Gladiator. Fifty times better. Well, it's <laughs> it, a terrible it, day. <laughs> it's, it's more. I would say it's more hair raising than the reenactment of storming D Day. Yeah. Can I tell you what well, happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the dude is fapping to gay porn right off the bat. That's yeah. And he starts having a heart attack, and someone walks in. And he's so fat he can't close his laptop. <laughs> I was on the plane, dude, dying laughing. <laughs> he's gay. The way <laughs> the whale's gay? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know the whale was gay. He's gay. It makes it worse, Zaza. You fucking homophobic. Yeah. He's fat and gay. <laughs> and he's so lazy. <laughs> He just talks about writing all the time. <laughs> what, that he's going to be a writer? I was a whale. Oh. Maybe I didn't even tell, I thought I told Brittany this, maybe I didn't tell anyone, but that's why I stay in peak physical shape. So that when I'm, not if, but when I'm watching gay porn, if someone comes I in, I can go <laughs> <laughs> real quick. Yeah, I practice all day. <laughs> I go. <laughs> time. Time. <laughs> Dude, he's like, ah, and the kid comes in, he's like, yeah, how can I help you? And the kid just watches two dudes have sex in the shower. And he's like, are you okay? <laughs> Dude, it's the best beginning of it. I don't know how this thing got on here. I can't turn it. <laughs> <laughs> he has this little grabber he picks everything up with. <laughs> It's the fucking funny Maybe thing. Maybe I will have to see that. Is, you, you that will. is significantly more jarring than Dida. Oh, dude, it's crazy. Yeah. But that is good that he's gay. It's awesome. It's far, because it's a lot easier to find dudes that'll get in there and start fucking you if you're that size. God, he's having a tough time. Oh, he's, he can't, he can't find any bros? No, there's no bros. He had a bro. That's, ah, all, that's bullshit. The whole dude. nature of the movie is he did have a bro. And his bro. You don't think a skinny black dude would come in there and <laughs> plow <bow> him? <laughs> 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 I mean, maybe, dude. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, he's thick as fuck. <laughs> he is thick as hell. He's thick the as pizza hell. man, now that you say that, the pizza man's trying to smash, I think. Is he really? The pizza man he just leaves two pies. First of all, he does two pies. He leaves two pies on Obviously. his doorstep. Dude, too large. Too large on the doorstep. And the pizza man's always like, Are you okay in there? And he's, he might be having him on his dick. He's always like, uh, He's trying to like come in the whole movie. He's like, My name is blah, blah, blah. And he's like, Thank you, my name's Drew. He won't face the pizza man. And at one point, he opens the door, and the pizza man is waiting. He, like, tricks him as if he left, and he's waiting. And he looks at him. He's like, oh, and just grabs his pizza. <laughs> and goes to the <laughs> can he walk? Barely. Okay. Barely. With a walker. He can walk with a walker. <sighs> but then he just gets two pies and goes ham on him. Bro. I've seen the clips of him feeding. The feast. He feasts at one point. He breaks down and feasts, and it's like, it's, it's like I was literally like, like I, there's he was jerking off the gay porn and stuff, and I was like, whatever. He started eating. I was looking around the airport, like or the airplane, like I don't want anyone to see. Yeah, that was you hiding your gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> How 
how can he not close his computer, but he can jack off? He set it up, got into f- it's a great whale position. Job. So he like set it up kind of a little he bit. Gets into his whale he put it, he put it up. I understand. He put it up a little bit high so he can get like a nice vantage of it. And then he chilled back on the couch. He so laid back far enough to he's get fat, his. But if he had time, he could have grabbed his walker, stood himself back up, but he started having a heart attack. No, he's saying, how can he jack off? How can oh, he, he reach his penis? He has to literally, they sh- kind of, sh- he is like, he's under his stomach just f- pumping. Probably feels great. That's got to be fucking awesome. That's got to be uh, of all the. It's like a cream pie. Of all basically. the problems, yeah. You get to, it is a cre- it's for a real. Cream pie. He's in veg. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of cons to wailing out. True. I might give this thing a shot. Later. <laughs> True, dude. Dude, it was pretty tight. But yeah, I, he was. I guess like the exertion. You're good cream pilot. Your own thighs. Oh yeah. You can put your belly against. Oh. Right. Don't you think you could? Whoa, I never thought about that. Give it a f-ing shot. I never thought of that. That'd be kind of nice. Could be nice. Mm. Might have to christen this house with a thigh. <laughs> <laughs> cream thigh. With an exposed f-ing old cream pie. He's <laughs> getting walked in on. Walked uh, in. What are you doing? <laughs> Get the f- out of here. <laughs> Trying to simulate a cream pie with my stomach <laughs> and my thighs. That'd be nice. Yeah, I guess I guess it was just a pure desire to procreate. He just went in. You know, he probably had, if I had guessed, he probably had like a month long no fab stored up in him. And, you know, they say gay's stronger than fat, so his gay impulses are stronger than his fat <laughs> impulses. They say gay's stronger than fat. <laughs> yeah, the movies, movies on an airplane really get you. I'll watch, yeah. a movie, I'll watch a movie on an airplane, but that was one of the best movies ever. Yeah. And you tell someone about it, and they're like, that sucked. <laughs> I could have done anything else. Well, everyone, uh, everyone was ripping on Frasier for the whale. I thought he he was loved for that. Did he win? Because yeah. didn't he cry or something? He just after kept that? going around crying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, shut up, like, Everybody hated me since the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm a fat gay guy and everyone likes me again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. do trump is like the speech trump when okay. he's doing a rally trump. okay okay because it's just in the back of your throat. okay the greatest country <laughs> the greatest country okay a little bit the, the greatest country don't do this do this uh, the greatest That's, country don't move at all only yeah, move your hand all right don't move my body if you're don't sitting, move your shoulders just all your right hands. if you're the sitting, greatest country sit like that if you're sitting don't first of all don't Okay, so sit like this. <laughs> Don't. Yeah? The greatest country. The best country. The best country. <laughs> wow, what, what a country. <laughs> wow, what a country. A lot of Asians. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of Asians. Maybe too many Asians. Maybe too many Asians. Too many Asians. <laughs> yeah. Maybe too many Asians. I don't know. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each of you is going to meet for about three minutes. Then you're going to hear this buzzer. Okay, and when that goes off, we're gonna move to the next table. Tana. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? 
I was asked to speak at this hotel. It turns out there's some type of pussy banquet going on. Give Hi. us another that, that we haven't heard. You, cause you do know. so many good impressions. You got a good Trump. Your Trump's good. Oh, fuck. Go, can we do no, a Trump no, off? No, 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 a Trump off. Trump off. Trump off. Trump off. Trump 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 thing. I think? do it. I've never I heard of yours. Very good. Very good. Oh, yeah. It's very good. There's a lot of guys doing... Uh, a lot of people doing me. You're a very good impersonator. Wow. Yeah, he's nice at it. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. Now, Jamie. Joe DeRosa, what a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting pig. He I would stop. love to put the, the country on your shoulders, but Joe, it might slide off. <laughs> I'm a very good comedian. Oh, I could be a comedian. Wow. A lot of guys a lot of guys say Joe's built like a worm. I don't say that. <laughs> but Joe is built like a worm. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the men in black aliens grew up. <laughs> I don't even need a date, but I'll get a date if I want a date. You can go on Tinder. Have you heard of this? There's a Tinder. You go beep boop pop and there's pussy. <laughs> There's one debate. There's one debate. He's like in the middle of it. This is pretty exciting. I've never been on a date with a white guy before. Hit the buzzer. I mean, I'm just wondering what it would be like with something a little smaller. Let me stop you there, Elaine. I don't know who sat in this chair before me, but it stinks. I told her! <clears throat> Any interest? You're gay. Hey, blame the dairy industry. I would never suck a guy's dick. But if I did, it'd be one of the best sucks he's ever had. <laughs> no, I just love, I love, I love thinking about Trump in the Situation Room watching a live military operation. He's the only dude in the room that wasn't military. He must have been the only dude watching it that was like, oh! <laughs> like, you can tell he's never seen it before by the fucking speech. The speech sounded like a guy just trying to tell you some shit he saw. A lot of guys would knock on the front door, not these guys, not our guys. Not our guys, our guys went through the wall, they blew up his wall. And they used dogs. Beautiful dogs. <laughs> what would you do? Is it uh, Gavin Newsom? Like, what would you do? Elizabeth Warren? Like, who? Michelle. Michelle. Michelle Obama. If she wants to do it. Obama.